Hey guys, come to you today with a very heavy heart, and I know I sent out a bulletin to everybody about the incident, but a longtime friend, uh, Sergeant Tim Chapin of the Chattanooga Police Department, was killed while responding to a burglary uh, on Saturday, this past Saturday, and uh, April 2nd. And it was just, it's an incredible story, and I just wanted to really share a real American hero to you guys. You know, we, we see things all the time where, you know, a cop's been shot or, or someone's been killed, and, you know, we see it and we think, man, that's a tragedy, and then we just kind of go on with our lives. But this one really hit me very close to home. Uh, Tim and I have been friends for 18, 19 years, and, um, in fact, our wives decided that um, we were going to have our children at the same time. And we had our daughters within a month. We had our sons pretty close together. Um, we waited five years to have our third son, and they said no thanks on that one. But uh, been on vacations together, been um, just in a lot of different things. And um, holidays together. In fact, unfortunately, the last time I saw Tim was over Christmas when we were up in Chattanooga and spent Christmas and uh, just the holidays with those guys and you know it's a real tragedy we've been in fact I just got home we've been there since Sunday there at the house and uh, but you know it was a tragedy it was a uh, just one that just rips my heart out but but I want to say a couple of things because but through all of that in spite of the tragedy there have been many wonderful things that have happened and Tim was a very giving person, very just a wonderful guy. We went to the service. There were over 4,500 people at the funeral. The, uh, the receiving of friends went for seven hours. We did a three and a half hour, took a little break, came right back, and did another three and a half hours just receiving of friends. People came from all over. And the law enforcement, there were over 50 law enforcement agencies involved. I'm going to tell you, I've never been a part of, of something that grand. In fact, the wagon that took Tim from the church uh, there, it's Abba's house there in Chattanooga to the graveside was the, uh, the same caisson that took Ronald Reagan. We were escorted everywhere with motorcycle uh, policemen. Uh, wherever, um, anytime that uh, Kelly, his wife, needed to go anywhere, she was escorted by police all during the time and uh, just given an incredible amount of, of gratitude for her loss. And all the policemen that were involved, a lot of them were his really close personal friends. You know, I've never seen so many uh, just really rough and tough, hardened law enforcement officers uh, in tears like I saw this weekend. Uh, it was just an incredible event. It's one that I'll never forget as long as I live. Now, and one thing that really happened uh, during the, uh, the whole procession, especially while the receiving of friends, is I was looking up the line and happened to see someone that I recognized, and it was uh, Masad Ayub, who is one of the foremost gunfighter experts in the world. And if you've ever read any of the, the gun publications, and what he uh, has written and done. In fact, it was really funny because a few nights before, I had told my wife, I said, I was reading an article about flashlights. And um, in fact, I'm going to use this in a video because it was so uh, enlightening and uh, with weapons. And I said, this guy's name is uh, Masad Ayub. And sure enough, I see him. I said, you know, the guy I was talking about the other night, that's him in line. And I ended up shaking his hand. And he said, you know, Don, he goes, I, I took a I was in the middle of a conference. I ended it two days early to come here to show my respects for this American hero. The story started at a, at a local Starbucks that Tim went to about every beginning of every shift, and he was sitting with a friend of his, Brian, who uh, they were just talking, and when the call came in that there was a robbery in progress, Tim just said, it was actually Brian's call. He, he was supposed to go to the scene, and Tim looked and said, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. You've got some paperwork to finish. Just do that. I'll handle it. And Tim was his sergeant. So Tim jumps in the car, takes off. Well, when he gets over there, there are already shots being fired. And the officer that is there realizes that the guy has a bulletproof vest on. And as he runs back to the trunk to pull out, um, to pull out his carbine, uh, the guy shoots him in the back. Tim 
jumps out. Of course, the guy just starts unloading into his windshield. And so Tim gets back in his car to take cover, and the guy runs out of a, a side door. And so Tim takes off in his car and actually hits the guy, knocking him down, but also knocking the gun loose. So when he jumps out of the car to subdue the guy, uh, he tases him, but realizes that the guy has on a bulletproof vest. So uh, he goes to take him down, and the guy pulls out a hidden pistol out of his vest and shoots Tim point blank in the head. Of course, Tim didn't even know it, didn't realize it, was, was killed instantly. The guy did live. He is in the hospital at this point, which was a testimony to the other officers on the scene. And how they had such a restraint, I, I don't know. But they did, and um, it was just amazing, all the events that happened. But the pastor there during the funeral, which was an incredible funeral, the pastor said, uh, somebody came up to him and said, man, it's terrible that Tim had to lose his life like this. And the pastor looked at them and said, he didn't lose his life. He gave his life. You know, I've always had a lot of admiration for my friend Tim. He was a quiet guy, but when he did speak, he had something to say. You know, I actually made this video while I was in Chattanooga, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't finish it because the emotions were so strong. And so I just waited till I got home. And I know a lot of you have wondered about my channel and wondered what's been going on because I took a few days. But you know what? I needed to be where I was. And the family, you know, they'll never replace a father, a, a husband, a, a son, brother, sister. So they will never replace this, this wonderful person. But the Chattanooga Police Department was unbelievable in what all they did. The church that uh, Tim attended, just, I mean, it was amazing, all the things that they did. Whereas the, it was a tragedy, there were a lot of great things that came through this. And so, you know, please keep your prayers with the family. They need it. My wife and children are there right now at the house with Kelly and the kids doing everything they can and uh, we'll be there for a few more days. I had to come back because I had business to attend to. But most importantly, I think that one of the things that I really gained from all this is the next time you see a police officer, show your appreciation. I had ridden in the car with Tim a number of times up in Chattanooga when we were up there and uh, he wanted to take me around and you know it was just, it was it really blew my mind how people would give you dirty looks while you were riding in a patrol car mean, hateful looks. And we went to court one, on one occasion. He said, I want you to go and see this and how lenient the judges were. And he said, you know, I've taken these people in over and over and over. It's the same people over and over. And, you know, it really frustrated him. And the, really the sad and ironic thing about this whole tragedy was that the guy that shot him really should have been in prison at that, mo at that moment. But he'd been released early. See this blue band? It was given to me by uh, the Chattanooga Police Department. Courage, professionalism, and duty. Just a great reminder of what our men in blue do every day. A badge of honor. Tim, you're my hero. Those of you who are in law enforcement, all you guys out there, you know who you are. Jeannie, Danny, a whole slew of you guys. You're all heroes. You're what keep us from chaos. God bless you. God bless the family. Long live the Republic.